Hi guys, I thought I'd quickly show you the progress I've been making with my Raspberry Pi project. It's a 1940s television, which some of you may have seen. I've uh, had it up at the club before. It came off a uh, skip and was in terrible nick, so I've been gradually repairing it. And now we have the Raspberry Pi fitted inside. The original television uh, is up there, all with my pig. Um, I thought I'd keep it just in case I ever want to put it back in, which I might, you never know. So there we are. Uh, inside is a standard Raspberry Pi fitted. It's loose fitted at the moment, uh, hence all the cables hanging out the back, but eventually they'll all be plumbed in properly. Uh, the operating system is a multimedia version of Linux based on XBMC. And uh, instead of the TV, we've got a flat screen, a flat panel LCD fitted instead. Let's see if I can show you the picture a bit better. So the idea was to reproduce a, a 1940s looking TV set for display in the shop that my wife and I run in uh, Leighton Buzzard. Amongst other things, we sell the paint that the cabinet's painted with. And you'll see that there's two colours, Barcelona orange underneath and uh, a colour called graphite on top. The paint is uh, particularly good for restoring furniture, or rather distressing it. And the idea was just to produce something that will uh, give an idea of some of the more unusual things people can do with the paint. Uh, the red light, which is pretty good, there we go, is just fitted to the, uh, the mains power supply at the moment. And uh, eventually the one on the right, which is green, will be connected so that it flashes away um, in some way or another. Um, I'll have a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse and also wireless internet uh, connected in due course. At the moment, as I say, all the cables are hanging out the back so it's not particularly handsome. But I think when it's finished it will look, uh, it'll look pretty smart. And although the video quality on the monitor that I've got isn't fantastic, We'll be playing mostly black and white stuff, so it doesn't doesn't really matter. It's good enough for the job. And also I'll fit a proper speaker or a pair of multimedia speakers in the bottom to give better sound quality. At the moment it's just running off the monitor. But there we are. Um, progress so far with my Raspberry Pi 1940s television. Oh, when I've finished it, folks, I'll, uh, I'll fetch it up the club so that people can have a, a better look. But so far, so good. See you all soon.